Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about a certain issue that some people may be having when they're trying to open my remakes in newer versions of FL Studio and how to fix it. Now, this remake, for instance, uh, Nothing Without You, was made in FL Studio 10. Um, and in FL Studio 10, I used the pattern box. That's uh, this section right here. Um, contains all the pattern information, MIDI files, step sequencers, stuff like that. However, if I were to open this in a newer version, let's say FL Studio 20, it would look like this. Uh, just looks like a complete mess. You can see the automation and the patterns on the same tracks because FL Studio doesn't know how to read uh, the project file because the newer versions of FL don't have the pattern sequencer. So it just looks like a complete mess. And uh, I think some people even think that this is how I organize my projects. It's not. This is uh, FL Studio's fault solely. So how do I fix this? Well, there was one version of FL Studio. Uh, the first version of FL Studio to not use the pattern box was FL Studio 11. Uh, I have it right here between the two. Um, however, it does kind of still use the pattern box. It's just it's not enabled by default. You need to go into the registry editor, go to this key right here, right? And then where it says legacy pattern box, box, I have it on one, so it's enabled, but by default it'll be on zero and it will look like this. See, no pattern box. However, if I try to open this, you'll see that I don't get the same problem as here. See, they're separate. And then from here, I can save them as a, let's say, um, let's just save it as a test, right? And if I go into here again, refresh, open this test project. Now I have a problem with my waves on FL Studio 20. This, so I'm gonna get a few pop-ups. This won't be the same for you. See, uh, won't be the same for you. Just ignore that for now. See, and now, you can see it's organized far nicely, f way better, you know, <laughs> it looks great. Uh, it looks way more like it's actually supposed to as opposed to whatever ha the hell happened before. So I would advise you to download FL Studio 11 just for, you know, it kind of as a conversion uh, measure, really. If you want to, you know, just fix that issue, if it bothers you. I mean, uh, it would bother me if I didn't know really like why it was like that. Um, you can download FL Studio 11 for free. You can just get the demo version off of ImageLine's website. If you just search older versions of FL Studio, it should come up right away. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, felt that this is, was an issue that was uh, worth making a video about. But um, yeah, so I hope that if you uh, ever wondered why that was like that in my remakes, now you know, and now you know how to fix it. All right, thank you so much. Bye.